guys and welcome to vlogmas day Jelly. 10 Doug made breakfast. I did. Doug actually makes it every single weekend. Yep. Because I wake up at 7 a.m. starving. Yeah, <laughs> and it's no matter what time we go to bed, no matter I what literally we wake up before, so hungry, almost kind of like nauseous too. Yeah, it's kind of like. Like I lay there and I'm like, I might throw up, but I'm too hungry to throw up. Yeah, and then <laughs> what you do is you just tell me to make some. Yeah, and I hate pregnancy hormones, like for reals. Breakfast time. So it's lunchtime. I haven't vlogged since breakfast. And Doug, that looks really gross. But we're having leftover curry from last night. And it turns into like this gelatin form, which does not look appetizing, but I promise it is. Um, today I'm excited because I'm getting my eyelashes done. This one is just out of control. Doug tried to get his 240 smogged and it didn't pass this morning. It's not that it didn't pass. He, j he couldn't even get enough data to test it. So yeah, he's gonna try something else to pass it. I don't know. Hopefully today, if I have time. Wow, look at all that stuff in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but while Haley's out getting her eyelashes done, I'm gonna be at the Yeah, and he has to go to the dentist. dentist. And ever since we got married, I make all of Doug's appointments. Cause I can. I was like, oh so Doug, you have a dentist appointment on Saturday. Like what? <laughs> he's like, no, it looks like, so I'm gloomy I'm out. Yeah, it does. It's like a crazy marine layer. It's been there for a while. Yeah. It's almost new now. So I got a package from a brand called Pop Beauty, which I've never heard of. It looks like their packaging is pretty crazy. So you guys seem to like the last unboxing, so I thought I'd show you what's in here. Okay, so this is matte lipstick. Okay, I'll open that in a minute. Um, okay, triple glitter. You guys know I'll probably never use this unless it was like Halloween or something. This looks like it's a metallic gold pigment, which I like pigment. Lashy Flashy Mascara. Wow, this is packaging. Oh, Essential Brush Trio. I'll totally use this. And what is this? Makeup Magnet Mist. Energizing and Hydrating Setting Spray. Cool. Another pigment and another mascara. Well, you guys know how this stuff goes. I'll pretty much use the lipstick and the pigment and maybe I'll try out the other ones, but probably not the mascara for my top lashes, obviously, but maybe for my bottom ones. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, high pigment mascara. Oh my God, I, I think these are, oh, they're mascaras in different colors. So a blue, a teal and a purple. Dang, that is crazy. Um, Curry leftovers. You know what it needs? What are those little like, um, in Japan, they give you little like radish things. Yeah. What are those called? Pickled? Yeah, daikon radish. Daikon radish. So good with curry. So Doug's off at the dentist and I'm just waiting around for my eyelash appointment. And I feel so tired. I don't know why. I want to drink a coffee because I didn't really have one this morning. Um, but you're not supposed to have caffeine before you get your eyelashes done or else you just basically are, you know, laying there jittery. Also, it's going to be interesting because now that I'm pregnant, I can't lay on my back like for a long time. So she said that at our next appointment, so like this appointment, um, she would have me lay on my side and do my eyelashes on my side. So that should be interesting. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to get that done. And we really don't really have anything fun planned for today. I just uploaded yesterday's vlog. Sorry they're not like at the right time like I don't have a set time that I upload them but that's only because I literally edit them right when I wake up in the morning and then you know whenever they're done uploading I put live so yeah sorry about that but I'm just reading you guys' comments and responding also this morning I realized that I honestly have never checked my Instagram direct messages I don't even know I mean I checked them like months ago and then I just totally forgot about them so I went through and like answered all of you guys on there so yeah sorry about that I like how I just said in the other vlog that I basically always respond to you guys as much as I possibly can and then there's like a ton of you guys just sitting there on Instagram direct messages so yeah I tried to respond to as many as I could get to um, and yeah I'm probably just gonna chill out for the next 20 minutes and answer you guys' comments they're really funny especially on the vlogs you guys seriously make me crack up also someone said that they just had their baby at 38 weeks and two days so that's basically 
me. Actually, I am, I don't really know how to count this. Like, it's confusing to me. I think I'm like 38 weeks and four days. I don't know, I could be wrong. But yeah, so that's crazy. I just don't feel like she's gonna come out soon. I don't know. Oh, let me know. Okay, because my doctor told me that I'm one centimeter dilated. I don't know if that's an indicator of anything, but let me know if that means I'm gonna have my baby later or if it has nothing to do with anything and I could have her tomorrow. Um, I just kind of think that since I am only one centimeter dilated that she'll come um, like later, but I could be wrong. Who knows what's gonna happen? So I just got out of my lash appointment and it seriously feels like I came out of a coma because you lay there for an hour with your eyes like shut and they feel like they're kind of like glued shut but yeah I love them if you guys are in the LA area I'll leave her information down below um, and they put like these gel pads under your eyes so it makes them a little bit sensitive uh, and it also takes off her makeup but whatever and my lash lady is so nice she gave me like a Christmas present I don't know what it is but I think it's like a little sponge and a candle or a cup or something but yeah, so I'm gonna go home now and probably get a snack because I'm already hungry. So Doug is heating up pasta that I got from Trader Joe's. I got Trader Joe's fettuccine alfredo with grilled chicken. We've been eating so much pasta. It's not good, but we don't have any meat left, by the way. Oh yeah, I know, I told you. So yeah, we need to go get meat from the store. <laughs> um, so she went a little shorter on my eyelashes today. She put size 12, 13, and 14. And I think last time I got like, I don't even remember what I got, but I think next time. 28 and no, that would be like out to here. Um, but I think next time I will go a little longer, but I still like them because they look more natural. Doug is measuring the nursery because I want to get new curtains. I'm trying to measure it, but yeah, it'd be a lot easier with two people. Oh, how cute is this little picture I got for the nursery? I feel like it's gonna look like our baby, but I mean, obviously it will because she's gonna have brown hair. I made a huge salad because this is not enough for one person <laughs> or two people. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be hungry after this, faux show. But I thought I would try it on camera just in case, because you guys always wanna know if stuff at Trader Joe's is good, and I always do too, so let's see. It's really good, but it's very salty. Doug cut his finger on a cheese grater. So he's getting a Band-Aid and I am so hungry. So Doug's reading your guys' comments. This is on the day eight. So not yesterday's, but the day before's. Okay. Carla Martinez said, I like the nacho cheese flavor. Donate them to your girl. <laughs> Adriana Beltran says, LMFAO. Yes, you do say hi Doug a lot. I do. And also, when I'm looking at food, I'm like, yum. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alejandra Musa says, my celebrity crush is Richard Gere. He is like a thousand years old. What the heck? I don't know why I like why I like him so much. He is ni He's nice looking, like for an older man. Milk and first before coffee. My boyfriend prefers it that way too, says yeah, Miss Deanne. Because then you don't have to mix it. Yeah, it's so smart. I blow people's minds every time I do that at work. They're like, okay, you don't blow someone's I mind do. when you do, do. it. Sarah Whitfield says, I can eat an entire bag of nacho cheese Doritos in one sitting. Oh know. my God, you guys. Good for you, Sarah. Where are the, what is the, what is the other flavor? Uh, cool Ranch. Where are the Cool Ranch people? I prefer Cool Ranch as well, but I use nacho cheese Doritos in my taco salads. Okay, yeah, I would eat that. It's not that I wouldn't eat them. That's dreaming with love. We just prefer sour cream and onion uh, ruffles, or no, Lay's. Uh, yeah, sour cream and onion Lay's. Bomb. And sour cream and onion Pringles are the top of the top. And let's just give a shout out to Pringles right now, the one chip company that doesn't sell air. Oh yeah, they don't sell air. <laughs> That's true. So you're, you're getting, you, got, you, you guys are getting each other your baby. Yeah, because we were talking about how we're getting each other pajamas and that's it. <laughs> Jordan Thompson says, ever since I heard, ever since I started watching you and hearing you say, huh Doug, I'm, I started saying that to my boyfriend, Brian. I'm always like, huh Brian. And the other day he was like, why do you always say hi to me now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's Karen likes nacho cheese Doritos with some hot sauce. Yeah, that's, that's the girl I was talking about. <laughs> <need> back up. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so I inhaled that food and Doug and I are going to go get a shake from Ruby's. Okay. Um, and yeah, if you guys ever come to California, I don't know if Ruby's is in other states, let me know. Um, but it's like a little diner and it looks like the 50s, like the 1950s. They have the best chocolate banana shake in the world. Yeah, those shakes are so good. 
So we're going there, and then we're also gonna pick up some curtains for the nursery. This is what I wear to Target. <laughs> My high school track sweatpants and black. So sad we did not find curtains for the nursery. Although that Target had everything else. Yeah. And there were so many people out, it's crazy. What a gentleman. Going to the pier. So Redondo Beach is so busy today. We just had to freaking pay for parking to get a shake. That kid <laughs> made the funniest noise. Anyways, so yeah, this shake better be worth it. That is fresh. really creepy. I want fresh fresh stuff. Doug, restrain. You're not supposed I guess it's too late, huh? We did not come for cereal, FYI. We came for curtains. <laughs> it's misting outside, but not quite raining. No, it's like just enough to hit me in the face. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it'd be annoying. Yeah, but not to not hear anything. Like, the cool part about the rain is the sound. Um, you know? Okay, we haven't told you guys this. <laughs> Lately, we've been listening to this certain rain soundtrack on YouTube, and it puts us to sleep. It's literally just nine How, hours of rain sounds. Nine hours of rain. It's not just me like that likes it. Doug likes it too. Oh, and those videos have some something like 25 million views. Yeah, like so. it's no, obviously not us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. Should I link below the rain soundtrack? Sure. I'll link it below if you guys want some soothing rain noise. I just have to send you the right one. Yeah, I know some which one it is. Some of them are just rain. Some of them are rain and thunder. Puddles. Some of them are rain with a lot Like Doug puddles. and I will listen, or Doug and I will like test them out and we'll be like, this is too harsh rain sounding. Yeah. Like we don't want to, we don't want to feel like we're in a tsunami or something. And then other ones are like too gentle, and I'm like, I need it to be louder. Yeah, and then I'm scared. So we found the perfect one. I'm scared that I'm gonna like pick one that's really good. Yeah. And in the middle of it, it's just gonna be just like a scream or something. Yeah, like it'll wake you up out of yeah. a dead sleep. I just got some stuff in the mail that I thought I would unbox for you guys. So the first one is my new sunglasses. I told you guys about this in I think a couple of vlogs ago. What are you doing? Do not Snapchat me. Okay, fine. Um, okay, now I can't vlog. Doug's like, now he's all into Snapchat. Vlogception. Anyways, um, so yeah, Doug. So basically, this website is called ditto.com, and I have a free code if you guys wanna try out the first month of designer sunglasses for free. But um, it's basically where you can rent designer sunglasses every single month, and I just found out something cool about the site. Basically, you don't have to remember to send your sunglasses back because that's my biggest problem with like rental things. I used to do rocks box a lot, which is like uh, rental jewelry, and I would honestly forget to send the stuff back, and sometimes I, you know, like, I mean, I never had to pay for it because I would be like, please don't charge me for this because I don't want them and I just forgot to send them back and I'd be like a few days late. Um, and they usually waive it for me, but that is annoying. I don't know, having to remember, I guess if you're not as flustered as me, you would remember to send things back. But the cool thing with Ditto that I just found out is that you don't have to remember to send your sunglasses back. You basically just pre-order your next set and then send back the previous month's set in the new packaging that you receive with your new glasses. So you don't have to go any amount of time without any sunglasses, so I like that. So this month, I rented Prada. Never tried these on before. Uh -huh. Will you hold these? Yep. So I don't know what kind they are, but I will link them below. I got like a different color. Normally I get like black or something. Doug always Okay, you ready? Thinks, yeah. Ready to see yourself? Yeah. Well, they look weird now. <laughs> they still look weird to Doug me. doesn't like any designer I don't do sunglasses. designer sunglasses. I can't. All right, I'm not gonna lie. These aren't the best. Yeah. I don't know about this bar. I just think my nose is too Portuguese for these. <laughs> you know I'll still wear them because they're Prada. <laughs> At least for a month. And that's the cool thing is like you, okay. You look like such a freak doing this right now. You look terrible too. Give me those back. <laughs> but yeah, um, not a big fan on my face. I mean, I'm still gonna wear them. But anyways, that's the cool thing is you don't have to purchase these probably $400 sunglasses. You can rent them, and it's really cheap. So anyways, the code is Haley Page. But I will leave the spell. I mean, the spelling is my channel name. But I will leave the exact code below. 
Anyways, Doug's popping popcorn if you wonder what that noise is. But I got two packages from Pixie. Time out. No one likes burnt popcorn. So I got the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with, wow, propolis and argan oil. I always feel like I'm trying to pronounce things on the vlogs, like your guys' names. Um, so yeah, it's like a glow mist. Sounds like it's going to make me oily, but we're going to try that out. The next thing is Glotion. See, that was a confusing <laughs> word. Glotion. Props to Pixie do. on the, uh, it is Pixie, right? Yeah. Props to Picky on the. Picky. No, I said Pixie. <laughs> Props to Pixie on the Glotion. Yeah, Glotion with lavender oil and mica. It's a moisturizer. Well, it's Glotion. Glo oh, gl I just got that. Are you serious? Yeah. Glow and lotion? I know. Glotion. So this is Beauty Sleep Cream with mango butter and chamomile. Chamomile? Oh, Doug, what? Chamomile, chamomile. I'm gonna die. It's chamomile, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, 24 karat eye elixir. Reminds me of that dumb song that Bruno <laughs> Mars sings. I also got, what are these things called? Baby Bliss. I think they're called breast pad. Oh, nursing pads. But these are like organic. So whatever that means. Um, very intrigued by them. You get like a ton. But yeah, you just go like this. Stuff. <laughs> okay, let, let's ease up here right now. What? What's happening in this video? These come in bras basically. These little pads, yeah, but, but just you... not this. What? They're all girls. Okay. I mean, if there's, I'm sure there's some guys watching, but whatever. If they're watching, they already know me. So we're gonna watch the movie The Nice Guys with, and with, Ryan, Gosling, with right? Ryan Gosling. So yeah, we'll let you guys know if it's good tomorrow. Yes, we haven't moved any of our lights from yesterday. That's also Doug's second chore of the week. It's hard to do this and vlog. <laughs> you look like a dog. <laughs> okay, fine. One more, but you have to really come it, for it. Just throw it up there. Oh, almost. Haley says, do you know how hard it is to vlog and throw popcorn in someone's mouth? And I'm going to do it on the first try. I just don't want to choke. Ready? I don't know why I'm scared. You didn't even move. All right. I got your range down. Wait, is that two? No, this is one. Oh, okay. Nuh-uh, you do not. I These don't. things don't have any, like... Okay, time to do it. Doug takes this way too seriously. Okay, here's the piece. Ready? Oh. <laughs> you just hit your own eye. No, okay, here we go. Ooh, that one was close. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna end the vlog here. And we already read a bunch of comments, so probably gonna, you know, skip that for today. Doug, throwing popcorn at me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see you guys for tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye guys. Doug!